Class of 2021, welcome to MTU's Faculty of Business and Humanities Special Purpose Award Ceremony for 2021. A warm welcome to our 239 graduates, soon to be graduates, who will graduate with the following awards this evening. Certificate in Designing Innovative Services, Certificate in Digital Marketing, Certificate in Sales Strategy and Techniques, Certificate in Culinary Skills, Certificate in Principles and Theory of Art Therapy, Certificate in Arts in Group Facilitation, Certificate in Creativity and Change, Certificate in Fundamentals of Operational Excellence, Certificate in People Management, Certificate in Leadership Development. Also a warm welcome to your families, loved ones and friends celebrating with you this evening, our industry partners and all of my MTU colleagues. In different circumstances, we would be gathered on campus to celebrate your graduation, but as you know with COVID, these are exceptional circumstances which make you exceptional graduates. You have demonstrated over the past year your determination, resilience, perseverance, focus and hard work to complete your studies. To all of our graduates, well done for your personal commitment to your programme with many of you balancing work and study and for others coming back to education after many years away. On behalf of the faculty team, I want to express my congratulations on your accomplishments. I would like to thank our own faculty team, academic, technical and administrative, who helped you on your journey to graduation. Please know that when we say that MTU is a community, we mean it. We're here to serve you in any way we can. Please do not hesitate to reach out in the future if there's anything we can do for you, or even just to tell us what you're doing. Finally, enjoy this memorable evening with your family, friends and loved ones. Be proud of your achievements and the award you will receive tonight. Your success is our success. So our best wishes to you all for a bright and wonderful future. Thank you and congratulations again. The MTU School of Business delivers career-focused education with an emphasis on the knowledge and skills required by industry. And we aim to instill a lifelong learning and employability mindset. Our programs are designed to engage students in an interactive way through innovative teaching and learning approaches and through real-life, problem-based and work-based learning. We strive to ensure that students have the most rounded experience possible, so they develop both professionally and personally while they study business at MTU. The School of Business consists of the following departments. Department of Accounting and Information Systems, the Department of Management and Enterprise, the Department of Marketing and International Business, the Department of Organization and Professional Development. I call on Dr. Claire O'Sullivan Rochford, Head of the Department of Accounting and Information Systems, to present awards to students in her department. The following candidates have completed their programme in the Department of Accounting and Information Systems and are worthy of their Special Purpose Award, Certificate in Designing Innovative Services. Leanne Cassidy. Katia Castrillo Iglesias. Emily Davies. Julie Ann Dunn. Aoife Maria Godwin. Catherine Heaney. Stuart Huskisson. Patricia Kelleher. Sean Gerard Murphy. Denise Murphy. Susan Jennifer O'Flaherty. Aideen Louise O'Mahony. Neve O'Mahony. Ashling Mairead O'Sullivan. Bernadette Palmer. Keen Sukram. Arlene Stanton. I call on Dr. Pio Fenton, Head of the Department of Marketing and International Business, to present awards to students in his department. 
The following candidates have completed their program in the Department of Marketing and International Business and are worthy of their Special Purpose Award Certificate in Digital Marketing. Laura Adamson. Elizabeth Balf. Marcin Dores Bertel. Marissa Boylan. Michael Gerard Brazel. Noel Catherine Sarah Brennan. Andrea Patricia Bruton. Claire Frances Busher O'Sullivan. Michael Ross Carey. Neve Lisa Coakley. Michelle Therese Cogan. Michael Cole. Kira Maria Collins. Finbar Dennis Condon. Jennifer Marguerite Conradi. Helen Margaret Courtney Power. Natasha Crowley. Marianne Delaney. Kean Desmond. Martin Christopher Dorgan. Daniel Christopher Doyle. David Drew. Sylvia Hannah Inright. Hannah Margaret Falvey. Kira Fitzgerald. Jordan Patrick Fitzgerald. Daniel John Fleming. Adele Helena Ford. Ruth Fernie. Ashlyn Golden. Anna Helena Granjeka. Owen Haberlin. Margaret Rose Heffernan. Shannon Noel Teresa Hennessy. Breda Marie Hogan. Sean Podrick Holland. Orla Hurley. Jack Desmond. Eamon Jabowski. Nicole Jordan. Lucas David Keating. Ashling Jennifer Keenan. Vivian Kelly. Emer Canis Kelly. Tracy Maria Keneally. Neve Mary Kennedy. Neve Peel Lehan. Kirsten Mary May Schmar. 
Marie Kira McAuliffe. Sean Martin McDermott. Michaela Ann McGann. Neve McSweeney. Carmel Mulcahy. Catherine Mary Murphy. Liam Murphy. Christine Nolan. Emma O'Donovan. Lauren Elizabeth O'Dwyer. Owen Paul O'Kelly. Miriam Bridget O'Sullivan. Claire Alicia O'Sullivan. Marion Frances Power. Tia Repic. Katie Ann Richards. Megan Jane Roberts. Dervla Eilish Skehan. Heidi Storhire. Elizabeth Strasser. Lucas Tezak. Michael Toomey. Finola Toomey Omani. Sylvia Vasky. Gillian Vehi. Peter Walsh. Norma Welsh. The following candidates have completed their program in the Department of Marketing and International Business and are worthy of their Special Purpose Award, Certificate in Sales Strategy and Techniques. Colum Martin Barrett. David Michael Bracken. Brona Ann Doherty. Connor George Dolan. Edgaris Gudzinas. David Hartnett. Kevin Sebastian Mert. Alan O'Callaghan. Dale Andrew Shea. Ashling Ward. I call on Mr. Don Crowley, Head of the Department of Organisation and Professional Development, to present awards to students in his department. The following candidates have completed their programme in the Department of Organisation and Professional Development and are worthy of their Special Purpose Award, Certificate in Leadership Development. Mohammed Faisal bin Abdrazak. Ching Kam Aoun. Aaron Lynn Ballasty. Denisa Buri. Maishara Shea Morad. Anne Collins. Jeremiah James Collins. 
Patrice Coyne. Anand Das. Anya Donovan. Bridget Farrell. Jennifer Fitzgerald. Ian Seamus Flynn. Stephanie Fuhi. Joanne Hanrahan. Neve and Marie Hart. Edgar Harry Michael Hines. Sarah Marie Keane. Michelle Keneally. Ronan Christopher Kenny. Owen Lynch. Andrew David McGuinness. Marie McGillicuddy. Darren McConnon. Dennis Merritt. Thomas Mulcahy. Jessica Neville. Christina Lorraine O'Dee. Tony O'Donovan. Ashling O'Driscoll. Bikau Ui. Leticia Lopez Ramos. Peter Anthony Ryan. Maura Smith. Brendan Stack. Catherine Sutton. Ramesh Tambura. Deirdre Wallace. Andrew David Whitaker. Jack Winkworth. The following candidates have completed their program in the Department of Organization and Professional Development and are worthy of their Special Purpose Award, Certificate in People Management. Alessio Albrizio. Anne Clancy. Demante Deborati. Laura Catherine Dorney. Caroline Mary Dunn. Fernando Javier Fontana. Eric Higgins. Michelle Philomena Kelleher. Martin David Lillis. Lauren McCarthy. John McFadden. Eldon John O'Mahony. Emma Sarah O'Sullivan. Geraldine Paul. Jan Perutka. 
Norina Sands. Josipa Scarpa. Brendan Walsh. The following candidates have completed their programme in the Department of Organisation and Professional Development and are worthy of their Special Purpose Award, Certificate in Fundamentals of Operational Excellence. Michael Patrick Cronin. Brian Anthony Doyle. Thomas DeMarch. Joan Marie Hogan. Jacek Kaminski. Isadora Kovakovic. Damien Madden. Regina Ann McNamara. Dennis O'Brien. Claire Ann O'Connell. Michelle O'Connor. Elaine Mary O'Leary. Arcadius Patak. Robert Edward Sheehan. The School of Humanities delivers courses and research in a number of areas, including social studies, recreation and leisure management, early childhood studies, Montessori and tourism and hospitality. We believe a key part of education is the confidence you gain from applying your knowledge in practical situations. We do what we can to ensure that students have the most rounded experience possible so they develop both professionally and personally while at MTU School of Humanities. The School of Humanities consists of the following departments. Department of Tourism and Hospitality, Department of Applied Social Studies, Department of Sports, Leisure and Childhood Studies. I call on Dr Noel Murray, Head of the Department of Tourism and Hospitality, to present awards to students in his department. The following candidates have completed their programme in the Department of Tourism and Hospitality and they're worthy of their Special Purpose Award Certificate in Culinary Skills. Egal Inulte. Taig Dermot Collins. Eve Mary Dean. Mark Anthony Egan. Maria Incham. Conrad Carl Kidzerski. Abigail Molly Canary. Leah Legalou. Manasman Long. Christina Marr. Alana Marie McGrath McGuire. Nicholas Michael O'Brien. Paul O'Keefe. Anthony O'Leary. Chikule Okwanko. Minaz Rahman. Julia Scarvanti. Rachel Sheehan. Alina Sanda Tanzlea. Aidan Whelan. The 
Crawford College of Art and Design, MTU, is a vibrant multi-campus college which has been successfully providing education in the arts for more than 100 years. The Crawford is a diverse and creative community exploring art, design, technology, culture, visual arts education and media. In addition to the careers in the creative and cultural industries, our graduates apply their skills to a wide variety of careers in all sectors, where their ability to think both laterally and critically, their powers of analysis, their exceptional teamwork and communication skills, and their problem-solving attitudes are all highly valued by employers. The Crawford College of Art and Design consists of the following departments. Department of Fine Art and Applied Art, Department of Media Communications, Department of Arts in Health and Education. I call on Miss Louise Foote, Head of the Department of Arts in Health and Education, to present awards to the students in her department. The following candidates have completed their programme in the Department of Arts in Health and Education and are worthy of their Special Purpose Award Certificate in Principles and Theory of Art Therapy. Margaret Mary Byrne. Simone Mary Kaur. Roisin Cudahy. Lauren Kathleen Cullinan. Josephine Dennehy. Anne-Marie Catherine Fitzgerald. William Scott Fitzgerald. Sarah Patricia Gallagher. Irinia Harty. Deborah Marie Kiley. Kira Marion McCarthy, Aoife Catherine McQuillan, Capo Jennifer Ng, Siobhan Louise Reardon, Sasha Ruse. The following candidates have completed their program in the Department of Arts in Health and Education and are worthy of their Special Purpose Award Certificate in Arts in Group Facilitation. Valerie Dunn. Una Ann Fitzgerald. Laura Hederman. Olivia Howe, Rachel Mary Larty, Tara Marie McGuinness, Paula Emily Mungi, Katharina Ann O'Donoghue, Gala Nora Maria Tommaso. The following candidates have completed their program in the Department of Arts in Health and Education and are worthy of their Special Purpose Award Certificate in Creativity and Change. Jana Abramovich. Roisin Bonner. Thomas Dowling, Sharon Fidgen, Edon Rilke Floyd, Eloisa Garcia Martinez, Conrad William Im. 
Ravnita Shivanjali Joyce, Anne Teresa Lam, Ashling Betty McCormack, Colette Rose Mulholland, Jacqueline O'Rourke, Anya Margaret Burke O'Gorman, Lucia Mary Parle, Patricia Mary Robertson, Danielle Rourke, Richard Scriven, Una Christine Toomey, Osama Wahoud, Belinda Jane Walsh, Florence Rose Whitworth. Members of the governing body, registrar and vice president for academic affairs, head of faculty, heads of school and department, colleagues, and especially our graduates. I am delighted to join you here this evening for this award ceremony. My congratulations to each and every one of you who have graduated this evening. A great milestone and sense of achievement after completing your studies during COVID, and also a great occasion to celebrate with your family and loved ones. The great poet and educator Maya Angelou said, success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. I hope that the new knowledge and skills you've acquired through your time studying with us at MTU will contribute to your own success and what you do and how you do it in the future. On the 1st of January this year, MTU became Ireland's second technological university and is playing a central and strategic role in ensuring that there are fantastic opportunities for all to achieve their full potential in education, in life, and in their careers. Lifelong learning is integral to our mission and it runs through everything that we offer. The breadth of awards given here this evening and the different approaches provided in terms of delivery really make us stand out and ensure we are meeting learner needs. At this evening's graduation, we have students from Boston Scientific Staff in Malaysia graduating with their certificate in leadership development. This was delivered by MTU staff Jane Leonard and Michael Callaghan in Penang in Malaysia. Then they continued their studies online and the students also came here to MTU for an intensive week of learning to the Cork campus accompanied by Mr. William Suhu, Head of HR, Boston Scientific Penang. We are very appreciative of the strong relationship we have developed with Ronan Emmett, Learning and Talent Acquisition Manager, Boston Scientific Cork, and Fergal Hennessy, Production Director, Boston Scientific Penang, who have been instrumental in the success of the programme. I also want to thank the MTU team led by Don Crowley, Head of Department of Organisation and Professional Development, who have ensured this successful industry academic partnership. We are also delighted to have the first cohort graduating from the Certificate and Fundamentals of Operational Excellence. This programme was also developed in collaboration with Boston Scientific Again, we would like to acknowledge the support and vision of Ronan Emmett, Boston Scientific, in the design, development and success of this programme. And we are pleased that it's been shortlisted for the Irish MedTech Awards next month. One of the awards tonight, the Certificate in Digital Marketing, is the longest running special purpose award in the School of Business and it's proved transformative for hundreds of small businesses in particular and has a strong focus and ethos on authentic assessment in the programme. 
What is great about all these special, award, special purpose awards is the progression routes available in MTU for students to continue their studies. For example, graduates of the Certificate in Culinary Skills can progress on to complete their BA in Culinary Arts degree. So do contact the MTU team and consider options for continuing your learning journey with us. I want to thank my MTU colleagues who have supported you throughout your studies and are very proud of you graduating this evening. As graduates, you are now officially one of our MTU alumni. So please stay connected with us through MTU staff, social media and the alumni office. We have exciting plans for MTU and we want you to be part of the journey. Finally, I want to congratulate you all again on receiving your awards this evening and my very best wishes for a bright and successful future. Thank you. A wachtroin, a wheelie kushtereerha, a chana divas skala, a gusrina, a holakahe, a green oishle, a guskahorahe, a ravachtani. Is more an honor dumb when so live er no kaid on a special to show. Ni fedelin balula hele imliana farir. Marshan fein. Ke gar sharman as kienda e an kelura sho, kren vor neacht an glunder kena oren agus a chur sheriv, michol shiv. President, members of the governing body, heads of faculty, school, and department, colleagues, distinguished guests, and most especially our graduates, I am very honoured to join you in marking and celebrating your achievement. Unfortunately, we cannot be together face to face due to the current circumstances. That said, while we celebrate remotely, our joy at your success is as real as it ever was. Michal Schiff. Wherever you are, I hope that you are enjoying this celebration with your families and loved ones. Savour the moment. You deserve it. I also have no doubt that many of my own colleagues who have walked this journey with you are joining you online and congratulating you on your achievement. And what a year it has been for us all. Together, we have dealt with what continue to be extraordinarily challenging and dynamic circumstances as COVID-19 continues to impact on us all. Since March 2020, the one certainty in our lives has been uncertainty. And the academic year 2020-21 began with us endeavouring to get to a new normal. But as the months went on, however, that epidemiological curve ebbed and flowed. And so, your willing engagement in hybrid and remote learning, coupled with your resilience and solidarity with MTU's wider community, have continued to impress me very much. And I just hope that you understand how proud I am of the way in which you have dealt with a university life that was different from what you might have initially expected, and furthermore, how you have dealt with the general impact of the pandemic on your lives, both personally and professionally. I am equally proud of the manner in which my colleagues across the university and this faculty have drawn and continue to draw on their rich reserves of expertise, experience and commitment in facilitating successful completion of your programme of study. And needless to say, I must also acknowledge the ongoing collaboration of our external stakeholders, successful engagement with whom is so key to the mission of MTU. A special word of thanks also to your families, loved ones and friends who have supported, helped and even worried about you as you worked so hard to complete your studies notwithstanding your other commitments in life 
at this most extraordinary of times. I am very sure that this is a really proud moment for them too. In conclusion, I want to return to you, our graduates. Your achievement did not happen by magical thinking. I myself juggled my own postgraduate studies with a full-time job many years ago now. And thus I know only too well the sacrifices which you have made, the long hours of study which you've put in, and the difficult decisions that you have had to make about priorities in your life. All of this, along with your own unique set of talents, is a magical combination to bring forward to your next chapter in life. We all look forward with anticipation and excitement to what that next chapter will bring for you. And we wish you every happiness and success in it. Good night, live. This concludes this evening's award ceremony. May I thank MTU President Professor Maggie Cusack and Dr. Anya Nihe, MTU Registrar and Vice President for Academic Affairs, for joining us this evening and for their inspiring words. A special word of thanks to Louise Byrne, Faculty Administrator, Michelle Kelleher and Magella Power from the Faculty Admin Team for organising this event. I would like to thank all of you for joining us here this evening for these awards. To all our graduates, congratulations again and wishing you all a happy Christmas and best wishes for 2022.